Hello, uh, my name is Sydney Davidson. I'm the figure drawing instructor at SAW. Uh, sequential art can be pretty overwhelming. It demands a lot of problem solving. So I put all this stuff together to demystify it, to make this kind of thing accessible to anybody of any skill level. These areas um, that are marked in blue are always, for the most part, visible. Um, other parts of the body uh, are covered with fat and tissue and uh, they can be covered up, right? So, but these blue areas always kind of come through and are usually visible if that part of the body is visible. And what that means is that in order to sort of orient um, the, the viewer anatomically, uh, we analyze the relationships uh, of these points uh, while we do our gesture. Um, I hope that that does not sound, this does not look overwhelming. Uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go through it uh, and break it down slow, and then we will go into actually drawing some gestures. So, what I'm doing in these images is I'm going to pull up some photographs, and I'm going to mark them and indicate what kinds of things I look for as I'm doing a gesture, and what I need to be mindful of. Um, this this illustration, or I mean this uh, photograph here, a uh, little awkward looking, but I wanted a, a twist in the pelvis or in the uh, rib cage, and that's what I came across. So, again, if I was drawing this, I would, I'd find that pit of the neck, that angle. Now, this angle between the uh, pit of the neck uh, and the shoulders is not always lined up, but I want that pit of the neck, and then that the middle of the rib cage, and this is about where the bottom of the rib cage is. We want. All of these three should be parallel. That's what we want to pay attention to. And then his pelvis is actually not parallel to that. It's tilted a little more that way. His center line is down here. The center line of the pelvis is right here. Right? And it kind of spills forward. Um, so here, I'll, I'll draw those basic shapes again up there. And, uh, yeah, okay. So they're all kind of, <laughs> should not be that far apart. All right. So uh, this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for. Uh, the elbow right there, and then this knee and this knee. Um, the hips are just shoot right out of the pelvis. And I want to make sure that the relationship to the knee is right, and then just like on the other one, and then follow it all the way through. Um, so one of the landmarks I like to pay attention to is right here on the shoulder. There's a bony landmark. It's, uh, it's the acromion process. Uh, if you want to get technical, uh, I like that one. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, move forward um, in the uh, next recording. Uh, I will show how to how to put this into practice uh, how to actually draw a gesture um, off from a figure uh, and how this analysis while it's taking me a little bit here uh, you should really try to condition we really try to condition ourselves to get it in like a, a 15 to 30 second uh, period time period right the, the, in the, that time period we should have a good enough analysis to draw a figure where the weight distribution and its expressiveness are evident. So, Will Eisner, uh, if you look at his anatomy, it's, uh, 
you know, it's not photorealistic. It's cartoony. It has elements of realism, but it is predominantly a very fluid uh, sort of uh, a figure drawing. Um, the weight distribution of the character is really clear, uh, and you get a sense that there's movement. Um, a lot of that is done through the kind of line work, um, but uh, a good, a good solid figure drawing in comics, at least in my, that sounds so pretentious to say that. At least the, as as I see it, <laughs> means uh, that there should be a nice fluid gesture drawing that underpins uh, pretty much every figure. Um, and so one thing about uh, Will Eisner that is uh, different about uh, a lot of other uh, comic book artists is um, his his expressive anatomy is um, it, he uses the the figure to convey feelings that you would suspect uh, could only be done through the face through facial expression. But if you lay out a page and just have a bunch of facial expressions to communicate what's going on and how people are feeling, it'll, it gets boring to look at. It's hard to look at. So one area that comics differs from like film is that we want to rely on the whole body to express, kind of like stage, uh, theater, that kind of a thing, rather than like a close-up of an angry face. Close-up of angry faces, they do work, but uh, I think that Will Eisner does a good job of really pushing how the figure can communicate things emotionally. So, All right. and then here again, uh, you know, the, the, the being flooded with uh, loving feelings, uh, uh, that intensity of a new love, uh, all being communicated in this uh, ice skating uh, part that Will Eisner drew, and uh, again, strong gestural underpinning. It, this really communicates a lot of feeling. Um, you know, the the weight distribution is perfect, and he's doing some challenging things. You know, drawing people off balance in just the right way. Uh, really, some powerful stuff, and I think um, really demonstrates the power of cartooning as opposed to realism. So. I'm going to start with Jaw Cooper. Um, I initially found her on Instagram and <laughs> read a lot of interviews. Uh, she, I, I, she is a commercial illustrator, and uh, a lot of the work I'm going to show you is not work that she does for her job. It's for her side projects, which her side projects are, you know, pretty kind of well known and robust. Um, so I really love the way that she drew this Sphinx cat. And in fact, um, the main character in my book, uh, is a Sphinx cat because I, I was inspired by her drawings of them. Now, the ones that I draw are very different than hers. I don't draw like her, but, um, I thought that the way that she handled this was beautiful. Um, she doesn't draw a ton of human figures, um, but she does draw a lot of animals, and the gesture and the sense of movement is stellar. Um, you know, here's a, a human figure. Um, <clears throat> again, really skilled. Uh, lots of gesture, and I like how she... She has the gesture, but then her figures are really lean, which means that you're also going to see a lot of bone. And, um, you know, that's something I used to struggle with, where, you know, it was easier to draw, like, heavier, rounder people and make them have a sense of movement. Um, but when you have to, when you're drawing, like, lean, thin people, you have to show muscle and bone. And those are hard structures. So how do you do that and still make them look like active and like they're moving? I think Jaw Cooper achieves this quite well. And of course, that's just a sliver of what you'll find in drawing for comics in the figure drawing section. But what really matters is the community, the mentorship, the 
online forum, which is open 24 seven, the weekly calls that we have where we try and walk everyone through the steps of figure drawing and um, learning how to communicate with gestures in our narratives.